Hello and welcome everybody and thank you guys for continuing me, or with me rather, my remnant from the ashes world. We just finished the quest with the root mother. She says go to the path to the left here. I do want to explore on the right though. I don't think I can talk to her much more, but... Go. Go. We will see yes, we will speak soon. Or maybe there's just something hidden here. This was the path we unlocked. Around maybe. Dreams are getting worse. Last night I was hunting this family in the woods outside. Yeah, this is quite the heavy journal. I don't think I want to read that all in the video. Excuse moi. So it might hold re a relevance to the story. Box. Lot word and a chest and something purple hidden there. I just a sniper rifle. Whoops. Can find weapons even. Power for single shot rifle equipped with a five times magnification. Larger grid. Damage doesn't seem bad. Equip it. Might be good. Might not be good. I don't know. Oh, we got it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Mother's Blessing. Range to damage reduction. That sounds... I mean, it's only 2%, so... I don't know, as I said, I don't know what the max level is so far. I want my coach come back, though. Uh, wait. Interestingly enough, she told me to go to... Well, she didn't say... I like it that you actually find loot. You don't only have to craft or anything. I don't know if the, the sniper rifle is any good. Another chest here. It's probably worth, after all, to check every corner, nook and cranny. I mean, the rifle from whatever Briggs was his name, I think. Uh, the the weapons are usually like 300 to 600 or something. Can I actually? Oh yeah. I'm not looping around. Oh yeah, I wanted to check if vaulting actually takes stamina. I'll probably vault somewhere else. I can try it here. My vaulting doesn't seem Alright. Good to know. Oh yeah, let's see if we can... Oh, all the, the benches got destroyed anyway. I don't have to deal with that. Wouldn't, but I can't destroy it. Oh, please. But two sounds. Nope. Not destroying those either. Doesn't seem like there's anything there. Apparently, we made a new ally, even though she's kind of rooty, whatever. Curious to see. I don't think. I don't think there's anything here. So let's head back to Ward 13, Radioactive Skull. The desert suffers nothing to live. Alright. We got a checkpoint. That's a good question. How does she know? I'm gonna say, I don't know if I have to activate checkpoints in order to make them, um, you know, count or something, but just to be sure, we'll activate it. They look different. They don't look like the, you know what, we, we can, I think we can try. 
I mean, that's definitely more than 200 me uh, 25 meters. Yeah, range 35 actually. Yeah, no, that's a lot better. Double the range for my pistol. Okay. That was that was neat. How much XP do they give? We have 1180. Damn, man. That one that one feels good. 20 XP per Crash mob per room. Probably go back to Ward 13 first, though. I like shooting things. See how accurate that thing is. It's uh, pretty pinpointy to me. Oh shit, they shoot. These suckers shoot. Oh yeah, I remember. Oh, with the with the combination of the ring, now I get why I'm critting all the time, baby, because they don't see me. I get it. Well actually Might not be such a bad item after all. I mean, that feels really cheesy already, not lying there, but... Actually... I wonder how quickly that one charges. I think there's something above me. Tips are very close. Make this into a stealth souls game, shall we not? They drop in. Uh, let's open adrenaline. Maybe I should use one of my XP potions. Although I think that they might be more valuable later on when I actually know what I'm doing or have like a place to farm XP in a more efficient manner. I really think the mission I did or the quest I did just now was pretty good. This one feels a little bit really... I don't know. I like it at the same time it kind of undermines the whole... You know... Also what I really like is that it keeps your scoped uh, state in, so... What happens if I switch? No, it doesn't, but... You know, usually in the games where you toggle extra zoom it usually goes back to just a normal zoom in this game it keeps it that's really nice steps i wonder if they are deaf though the gun really makes loud hit has a quite a big of an oomph to it. Apparently there are even one more or above me and I don't know how to get up there yet. Mm. 
You didn't seem to hear that. Let's take a look down here. I mean, third-person shooters have the innate, I guess, weakness, if you want to call it. You can peek down. Like something bad. Definitely something better. How tanky are you guys? Or not too tanky. Just a one shot. That was like a Shaman kind of thing. I, I want to get up though. Hmm, I'm not. I'm not really. I don't know. I like this rifle <laughs> probably more than I should really. But it makes this game so incredibly weird again. Lots of those. I got this guy first. Okay, so we don't have bulletproof brushes. Whoops! Oh, please. I wanna press C to crouch and opening my character tap double time. I think it's a little bit bugged at the wall there. That wasn't so bad. Kinda lame though that you can't see shit through the brushes, but they can shoot you because they know where you are. destroy this shelf I think and these two as well although I still believe it's probably not worth it crit hatch I should probably even kill them from the pistol right Things with the guns, really. At least he has a projectile, so I can cheese him. Eventually, he's gonna be dead. The other guy doesn't get in the way. There he is, dead. Wonder what happens if I switch weapons now. I'm gonna heal just in order to not waste my skill. Okay, so they share ammo pool. As I said, this is maximum cheese, I think. Sniper rifle so far.
place seems rather big. Actually, I do want to finish, or rather continue my storyline for... Although I don't mind a little bit free roaming. That always feels good. Especially when you get stuff. Feels like, you know... Problem is I do have to go here anyway, so it's kind of kind of silly that I do it now because I have to go here. Well, let's head back. When my stamina, I stamina really. I hope there's movement speed perks or something. Really, that would be that would be nice. A bit of walking here to do. Sorry, it was on my phone. And now I'm back for you guys. I'm digging the sniper rifle more than I should, really. I really like the poach, coach gun. And I want to check out the shotgun as well. I mean, ultimately, you probably will have every gun in the whole game. Seeing how you can swap them on the fly, there's no reason not to try at least every weapon. You don't have to upgrade it, but you know, you can just, um... Trouble! I mean, you can just try it out at least for 500 or 600 scraps. That's not too bad. Why does my OBS tell me that loading kind of fries its CPU? Right. We have traits. I think that's not bad considering I fight ranged enemies in the next area apparently. Probably not a bad idea. Let's see if Ace has some more. Let's try it. I should probably always buy everything from her that I can. Take care then. Let's see what this guy has to offer. Folks are <laughs> Only the best. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Let's see what our little grumpy friend has for me. Can I actually destroy these pieces or something? Here? That would be kind of. Oh, wait, what? Why not? Let's see what these guys have to offer, and then I will check the root mother. That's a lot for bringing. There's no way bringing a human. Oh, Let's try mantle of thorns, and I can. Still... Considering I have more. Nah. I'll keep it for now. So, well, she had hopefully we. Certainly. Definitely upgrading the hatch because I like it. I don't think I have to upgrade the sniper rifle. Why not? What? Armor! I don't have enough iron for the drifter scout. Snare's hat, Drifter's go, Drifter's trousers. I need more iron. Uh, we can buy the hunting rifle for 600, the shotgun for 600. I don't know. Hunting rifle. So that's like a thing between. That seems rather. Yeah, we're gonna try it. Can't really upgrade it any further. How much does the coach gun do right now? One hundred. Right. Take care, my friend. Can I actually do some shooting here? Yeah, I can shoot here. All right. So we are. Reloading is really nice. That you can reload while rolling is really, really freaking awesome. 
Alright, so we got the coach gun. She shoots faster, but reloading is a little bit woozy. I think, I think we'll do that. Right, we don't have anything, so let's... Let's unequip that one. Now we, we're gonna do this one and that one. Hmm. I think that's better. I think it has a little bit lower range, like one meter or less, but... I think the shotgun's overall better than the coach gun. Right, we have still like 2,000 scraps. Let's find the root mother. Root mother. Presumably she's up here. No, she's not up here. We've made the root mother as comfortable as we could. She was chick. closer to the root than anyone. Here's hoping she can help us. Right. No, oh, I don't want to talk about it. We run drills all the time. Very well. Question is, where did they put her? Am I missing something again? Not here in her room. Why the hell did, did they put her down? Like down near the reactor or something. Keep moving. I am. No, oh, there she is. I see the, the other dot. In the corner. <gasps> so probably the hub will be oops, will be more lively as we get more. You have arrived. Much more myself, and that it is age you seek, the road you but to find him you must first look to a great shimmering light in the sky, slay the beast, seek the light beyond. Wait, one more boon I can offer to you carry a piece of the dragon, the root oh, is nice. great forces of. I can all uh, what what one thousand excuse me and I don't even have a similar chrome so presumably that's something only really heavy bosses drop probably one of the creatures she just talked about so to fare at all is well child so we get a new NPC. Presumably there there are some more nooks and crannies here that can be filled. I expect more NPCs to come. So let's check Ace again. Nothing here. So we'll be... No, I I'm not going to check out the reactor right now. We're going to be heading onwards. And let's, let's do... So I have to follow light apparently, then there is a boss, and then I will... Church, West Court, Atu side out. Is that the West Court? Yeah, has to be right. Alrighty, we are back. Presumably, everything respawned. So, in the sky there's a light. I think... I think. I think I will cheat. Just because it's so much fun to shoot these guys in the head. But we, we pretty much have two directions now. 
I don't really think I can determine which way to go from here, but... I mean, come on, that, that has to be... That, that can't be coincidence that I find this ring and then the sniper rifle. That's like predetermined loot. Because like the sniper rifle itself would be good, but with the ring and the sniper rifle, it, it just... Where's the head on this guy though? I'm not sure if they drop anything if I kill them that way. Turn around so I can shoot your head. An entrance there. I read. Hey. Pick it. Oh. Or way up here. I was pretty sure there's something hidden here. Perhaps oil skin, oil skin tonic, oil skin tonic. Let's see. That seems like a very nice sniper position up here. Oh, wow. Oh look. Is that the only guy in here. Gunslinger's charm. Shaman thingy. Increased fire rate by ten percent. Reload speed by holy. These are some really, really freaking good items. I wonder what more there is, really, or how hard the game is going to be, for that matter, if we already get loot like this that significant, like, 10% um, is already quite a bit, but 20% is holy, like, 20% reload speed is quite heavy. Like a chest, isn't it? Indeed, it is one. So it seems that traversing areas and checking corners for stuff is apparently very, very valuable. So it's probably best to just keep doing it. Let's shoot him in the head, though. Here. If I slide, am I actually crouching? Yes. Come on around the corner. Thank you. Peek, my friend. Peek. Another guy. Face. Okay, so we got shot, but still didn't know where I was. Interesting. Or I was lucky and get the second crit. That might be because I hear the this little squeak noise. You hear that's uh, can I actually shoot? Oh shit! Oh, place my aim. Hold. Oh. Ah. Another guy here. Should be all now. So they do drop ammo. But they were all aware of me. So I don't know if killing enemies outside of their presence or knowledge of me does actually net me anything. I mean, XP I'm still getting, so traits. 
I think, I hope at least. So this is where, is that the light that she was, she was talking about a light in the sky though. I want to I want to clear the other part of the area though. I like exploring. I really do like exploring. On the other hand, I'm seeing that this video is already 30 minutes in. I might actually go and be like That's it for this run. And I'll see you guys next episode. I don't think I want to make longer. I mean, I did Risk of Rain videos that were longer. So actually, you know what? We're screwed that. We're, we're going to clear this map. At least I'm trying to clear this map. That is. I don't know if I can do it. But I will try my very best. There's something up there. Wow, that this was a little bit of a dip. Three guys there. And there's a blue item up there. I think the tome was blue. Probably inside the house. Inside the house, see hotel. This feels really odd. I don't think, I mean, this is an open wide space, so you can probably pull this shit off, but I don't think that'll be the go-to play style, especially since when bosses come, you, you don't really, you're not going to be able to do that. But then again, what's the, what's the point of the ring, really? I suppose that it's to either give people a chance to, like, clear the map or play the game without having to worry about backfire all too much. That's probably the reason. I mean, I can see them giving giving every player an option. Like, if they aren't very, very good and close. Not really close quarter combat, but actual combat. Because this is not really combat. I'm just shooting people in the head that are things, for that matter. Um, that don't even know I'm there. down where are you we're gonna go up there first and see what the blue item is i suppose it's a tome of knowledge which will give me xp or a trade point i don't know perhaps like every corner but there might be more hidden here that i'm right now aware of they like to hide chests in houses like this Crap. I hope there's no inventory limit. That would be fatal for me. Because I'm a hoarder. But I don't see any weight limit in terms of how much stuff I have, so I don't think there is. Hope there isn't. Question is can I go into the floor below me somehow? As I said, Tome of Knowledge. So we have, how much do we have? 776. Oh, excuse me. It seems like it just grants me a whole level or something. So probably these become a lot more valuable the further you progress. I assume leveling up will be lower at some point. So far, I don't think I'm leveling slow. Not incredibly fast, but I have played like, what, three hours maybe? And I got like eight or ten points already? So... Not too bad, though. Not too There. 
nothing there either, I suppose. Anything? Alright. Would be nice if you could uh, swap. Looks like there's. Uh, it would be nice if you could swap between map uh, levels. In terms of uh, you can actually check where you currently are. But I'm sure that's something they can do. I mean, the game just released. I haven't, at least I haven't encountered a game breaking bug or glitch yet, and so far I'm very, very happy with how the game plays, so. I'm shoot Let's do some shooting, some shooting with a pistol. Adrenaline. There. Iron. Nothing to destroy here. So this will probably end up like a freaking one hour long episode. Looks like something. Something I can walk. Squeeze in here. Nope. No squeezing in here. Like this one. Way up here. One level above me again. Works. I suppose that pretty much makes stealth gameplay very, very, very viable. Viable. I mean, if I can one-shot enemies with a pistol, if I sneak up on them, then it definitely promotes health gameplay. Oh shit. How did that one miss that? I think they don't drop ammo though if I do that. And that seems to be the drawback that every now and then I probably have to go for a firefight or something in order to restore supplies or keep on chugging these ammo boxes. I actually drop down here. All damage here. Who knows? <laughs> Loot that, that. Still a bunch of things I haven't explored. I suppose once I get a little bit more stamina or maybe some kind of movement speed or anything, this will be a lot less of an issue. I don't think I can go up here. I have to go this way now. I'm really certain I can find a chest somewhere. My shadow, my reflection, what the? I was, for a moment, I thought there was a guy behind the window and I was there pretty much just willing to shoot, but it moved a little bit too, too similar to my movement. See, there we got a chest. Bunch of scraps on it. I'm really looking more for the iron than the scrap, rather. The scrap seems a little bit excessive at times. I mean, I'm not using any consumables, so for people who probably track these consumables on a regular basis, maybe it is important to use those later, uh, then scrap might be actually the limiting factor. So far, though, the limiting factor for me, there's another... Oh, no, no, no. The limiting factor for me 
is uh, iron in order to upgrade everything. By the way, I don't even have the second tier of iron yet. So. Gonna go there in the corner. Oh, well, that already has. Ooh, that already has fall damage, right? Checkpoint. That looks. I want to go to the checkpoint first. Let's say he signed with a flag. I don't know. Sure, these two guys first. I accidentally click on my mouse speed button. A little bit. Oh yeah, definitely did whips. I was I was about to say my aim is a little bit, a little bit fast right now. Please, my aim. Did, they, did he just? Oh shit! There we go. Oh. a little bit overkill but this area expands a little bit further than I expected I probably cannot clear it all in this video but I'll try my best way up there. Maybe I have to go into the house to check more. So far so good. So far I think the sniper rifle is a little bit too strong. The Byron. Running out of ammo though so eventually I will I have to face the inevitable going into pistol fights with them. It isn't that bad either. Shit. Should have netted me some. All right, we're gonna heal. Some ammo. Up here. Map scrap. Presumably, I can find one or two more chests maybe in this place. It's relatively all now everywhere, so I probably cleared most of the enemy. Long gun matches. 
definitely liking the the loot or rather the ammunition ratio so when infected random fits of coughing will improve directions okay that's definitely not good because that will end up very very badly if you get like infected in a firefight or boss fight or something definitely not the thing you want to happen to you we check this place cannot check this place so it's pretty much only this and up there and then i'm done all right we're gonna do that also i want to i want to check inside this house if there's something more up there this, this looks very very much so that there could be something Probably just a bunch of items, but that's what we're here for after all. At least I'm. For loot and guns and everything. Who doesn't like new equipment? Everybody likes new equipment. Blech. That was rather disappointing. Really? That's all there was to it. It was probably just a different path. All right. All right. We we check that one at least. And we found another. So off we go to this one. Then I'll do the checkpoint, and then I'll cut the video. So I have three places to go in this map. Three. I got a bunch of iron, so I can probably upgrade all of the current equipment I have. I check this corner, even though I don't think there will be anything more to it here. At best, some iron or scrap, but I don't think anything of that sort will be hidden here. All right, let's head back then. What's the case? The root mother confirmed that I'm yeah. Look where the light, oh wait, look where, look to where light imitates water, reaching for. Look to where light imitates the water, reaching for. Alright, so probably some kind of reflection or anything. Well, that can very well be that one here. The last place I have to check. And then I'll go back to the start, save here, and go that way. Oh, that way I have to go up, I think. I don't have to, but I'm not sure if I can go up there, so we will do so. We shall check. Well, not everything. I'm, I'm not this guy that literally turns on every stone. I'm just like exploring maps, this is sort of like my type of completionism. That's even a thing. I pretty much know, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. That everybody has this sort of sense to like finish something. In order to, even though it doesn't give anything, it just feels nice if the map's unlocked for me. I like that. Hey, I told you we will find another check. Perhaps I run. Now we go here. I hear a bunch of enemies. It sounded like something dropped. Really? It dropped behind the wall. I heard the, the scrap 
ching of the you know the coins that drop it i was like what at least my ears didn't trick me there Rapu. That's way too powerful, I think. I mean, I took out like three to four guys. I mean, that's that's just an AI issue, really. That that they don't hear me is one thing, but that he doesn't react because uh, like the teammate, probably within the vicinity of like five or maybe six meters, got whacked in the face, and he doesn't flinch even. That's a bit of a thing. I mean, really, the game. Presumably, if it if it revolves more around bosses and everything, it doesn't have to have the best mob AI. No game has, for that matter, and it's it's kind of difficult to to blame um, AI. On the other hand, it allows for complete stealth gameplay. It, it's not it's not like you know Metal Gear where you sneak and have to be aware that people don't see others getting hit and stuff. So. Not really looking for that in this type of game anyway. Just a little bit, you know, it feels a little bit cheap. Why? Some growling. Here's some growls. Don't see anything. in here Did this guy notice apparently But as annoying shield, just choose the ram really. There we go. I wouldn't be so sure that it's over. Let's go into a little bit of a close quad. I mean, I have ammo boxes, right? I have five of those. I could just chug one and then keep on whatever I'm doing, but let's not go down this road. I already have five bullets back, so. the shells and everything to rack up here. Well, let's go this way first. Looks like something hidden here. There's an entrance. Another entrance I found. Right, so we got four entrances, presumably something more here, and some stuff left here to shoot. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish that one. Wait, there's, there's water. 
This could be it. Oh, there, well, it, it is water, isn't it? Maybe, maybe that's the... That's the entrance I have to take for the quest, but ultimately I will do every dungeon, so... First of all, we're gonna finish this map. I came from, right? Of this one. There was nothing inside of this house. Bats on this house. At least I haven't seen any stairs. Maybe next door. Might be next door. Isn't that the place I was at the very start? It was. Pretty sure it is, Rob. All good, all good. I mean, spawning ads is really just in my favorite now because of the apple. I don't even think I have to go to the to the yeah. checkpoint. I will, I will sit in front of the portal and just cut the video. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Wow, it's almost freaking one hour. There, I was hoping for quicker videos, but I don't think that's gonna be happening. But there's one or two more guys in this house, though. Shoot these guys. I think that we cleared this map pretty much. Besides from the four dungeons. I think that should be all. I should probably just buy the Hunter's Mark to have the Sniper Rifle with the mod equipped. I'm better than just letting it go to waste because I haven't used the shotgun a single time. And the mod sits on the shotgun. I mean, it could have saved my, my ammo a little bit. This is where we're gonna go. And let's make it out. How much scrap do we have? 3,700. Not bad. Even I don't really have anything to do with the scrap right now besides buy consumables. I mean, I could buy the consumable, which uh, increases my stamina for by 25%. That might be useful. But then again, it's 500 scrap, and I'm getting used to the current situation, so. Anyways, thank you guys for sticking around for this very long video. I'll try to do the other ones quicker. And I hope you still enjoyed me playing through my current seed of uh, World of Remnant from the Ashes. And I'll catch you guys next time.